I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on, let's go. So this one is number three in the series. And so this is um, Megan, uh, selfish, selfish expectations as an American against uh, British uh, stiff upper lip mentality. Is that what this is? But we're going to get a little more into it than that. So Megan three is going to be just Megan. Um, and uh, we'll see uh, if it's really Americanism versus uh, British attitudes. Uh, that's what we'll talk about there. And then the final question, maybe this is the root of a lot of it. Anyway, Megan, is that just, is this just, would anyone in her, in her, give it and put in her same situation have reacted the same way? Probably not. If a, if a British woman had been put in her situation, would she have reacted a little differently? Uh, what type of British woman might have made a difference too? I don't know. Or, what, okay, so this is number three of the series, number three. And uh, we've already d used this deck. We've used the new Paladini. And that was for the um, Piers Morgan and the Harry and Meghan. And then this is just for the Duchess herself. The Duchess herself. Uh, this is the uh, Smith, Wait, Ryder, everybody kind of deck. And um, it's another uh, gorgeous uh, deck of cards. And uh, so what I'm going to do is just use this little display time with you as a way to kind of help mix these up even further and but you can see that they're you know they're gorgeous set of cards and you know why would you want to take a minute to look at them they look really cool and uh so but again just like life when you mix up all your emotions and all your worth and all your value and everything you want to move and throw it on the table you make a big mess so you have to clean it up and make it nice again this time we're going to talk about is it just megan was this whole problem just a stupid american trying to fit in even you know it must be like uh, in the storybooks and then once she was faced with the reality of what that life is um it was like did she just want out or was it really actually that um soul sucking and uh, if we look at uh, Diana's uh, problems with that dynasty, um, with the system, anyway, then you want to say, yeah, maybe. So, yeah, we'll find out uh, what to do with, with those two. So, Megan, Megan, Megan. Huh. That's not good. Megan. What are you doing to us, dear? Americanism versus British. Publicity stunt. What, what are we talking about here? I need six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Remember? I always believe these cards come together the way they are supposed to. The signifier card for this Megan question. Huh, that's very interesting because the question is, was this just Americanism versus Britishism, if that were even a word, or I didn't ask if it was a publicity stuff, but Wheel of Fortune. So I'm just going to leave it right there. We'll figure out exactly what it means in a minute. But that's a signifier. So Wheel of Fortunes, crapshoot. The challenge to that Wheel of Fortune, wow, is illusion and delusion. Wow. Is this Americanism versus the British system? I think it is. I think it's exactly what this is. Yeah, this is, this is exactly what this is. The base of this reading, then, is... <laughs> the world so uh, new starts starting all over again I mean this is perfect so I think this is uh, the freewheeling Americanism uh, sp uh, throw your dice out and uh, put your uh, marker in there and let the wheel spin around and see where it comes out versus the illusion and illusion that is that uh, monarchy um, wow but but it's but no matter what the illusion is it's all 
uh, pretty fruitful and pretty amazing. It can be a little sneaky, but um, you don't always know what's going to come forth. But um, yeah. And the base of this is new starts. Every generation, every every cycle has to figure out its relationship in this. The recent past for this uh, Meghan Markle, is it Americanism versus British? And I think maybe that's what it is. But we still want to know, is it just a, uh, a, a vehicle for her to uh, move her life forward in this amazing way? Oh, wow. The recent past is the devil. And so that's being chained to... Um, uh, ill intentions and um, you know the 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 least um, um, uh, admirable way of getting this your, your situation done so very interesting for the past however in the sky for this reading is the ace of cups and that's really you know a big offer of, of compassion um, getting something done in a very beautiful compassionate way and if she and Harry have their way, that's exactly what they'll do, along with enriching their fortune. They intend to make a nice, clean uh, path uh, in the world for compassion. And the likely outcome of this, then, is um, the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups, yeah, is a partnership and, and putting things together. And um, and they seem to have found perfect partners in each other to get this done. This this male even has a red... Uh, um, uh, wreath on it. Oh, it's not the correct uh, laurels. I know these are laurels, but a red headdress on in this uh, thing here. So the, uh, then if that's the way this is going, if this is Americanism versus British monarchy and generations, and of course, uh, perhaps uh, using, you know, the, the devil to, to uh, get rid of the devil. And that's both true of Harry and Meghan. I mean, he was uh, quite a little scamp and she was in the middle of that uh, TV and movie industry. So you know, trying to get something compassionate, uh, to offer in the future, working together toward it. What is the self of this then right now? What is the self is moving it? Looking for that big hand of let's get this going. Let's move this forward. Let's start a fire. Let's get some, some let's plant this state and make some fruit. So that's what the self of it is. The um, environment that it's in, however, is a fool. Fresh starts. Couldn't be more perfect. Yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's a start right now. This is the first step off the cliff into hopefully something bright and wonderful. And um, that's the environment. The hopes and the fears for this then is, ah, you know, the fear is that it doesn't work out and it's a big disaster. But this isn't uh, a definite. This is what you're worried about or what you hope for. So obviously, you know, that it's a big disaster. But the final outcome then is celebrations. And wow, that's beautiful. So that's a six of wands. Uh, carrying that laurel wreath, the beautiful white horse, the lovely green uh, uh, covering for the horse there, the blanket. And uh, so that's a nice outcome for that. So it looks like it could be the fact. Americanism versus British. Always a new cycle coming around, dropping, losing your chains to, to the silly ways that we connect ourselves. Just do something compassionate as partners. Get it going. Just take this first two steps. Let's avoid the obstacles, and we're going to come out successful. What a story. Glad I had this reading. So yeah, it's it's perfect. They're going to look for that fortune. They're going to start out in the future. They're going to avoid uh, the obstacles that can follow their way towards a solid victory. That's what's going to happen with this. So it wasn't a scheme. It was fate. Well, I'm Mark. This is my journey through tarot. Thank you so much for coming along. I really appreciate it. Subscribe. Just just do it. it. It really does make a difference, and, and I do appreciate it. Ask me in the comments something that you'd like to know about, and I'll do my best to answer your questions. So, ciao for now.